guys welcome to my channel I'm here to play with some shower curtain rings that I got from the dollar store and I'm going to make a little I don't want to say ornaments because it's not an ornament I want to say a dangle a charm for your journals or something you want to hang around your house or whatever you can call it whatever you want but I'm going to use them for something you use on a journal a keychain you know tassel so here we go so I had one of these I had got years ago off of Etsy so I want to use this um, these images this got my scissors I got my scraps I got a box full of some stuff here I got buttons I got who I'm only going to use things that I have in this drawer. Let me show you the drawer. All this kind of stuff here. And I got my trims. And I might go through a bag of stuff like this. So it's all scraps. Nothing was bought for this. It's just stuff I found around the craft room. So let's get started. So what you want to do first is get your circle. So I decided to use this because I don't have a, I think it's a two inch. Yes, about two inches. So I'm just going to take this and trace it. And then cut it out, and you can always change sizes if you like. Let me do this one. So, I'm going to do that. Have, you have a, a two inch punch? Go for it, guys. I don't have a pen. Oh, here it is. I'm just hoping that I can do this without messing it up. Okay. I don't think it has to be perfect, but... Do your best, I guess. Cut this out. I am not a good fussy cutter. As you can see, I'm having trouble cutting and talking. So that should fit. I can still cut it down more. As you can see, I can. That's good. So now find your trim. that you want to put around it. If you don't want to use trim, you can spray paint it, whatever you like. Oops, sorry about that guys. Let's try that one. Now all you do is turn it around, go around it like this. So let's get my glue gun. Put a little bit of hot glue to get it started. And just go around it. Every certain amount, just glue it down. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna glue this now. And there goes the glue gun. This is how it's going so far. I see that they did not overlap here, so try to make sure they overlap a little bit as close as possible. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I'm having so much difficulties here. Maybe I'm not functioning well because I don't have any coffee in me, because I'm fasting. Maybe that's what it is. Let's just do from the bottom, make it easier. And just keep going around guys. I'm trying to keep it tight. I don't know why I put my glue gun on my left side. Because I'm a righty. Make sure this is closed. There it goes again. Okay. I'm going to do another it's a little bit more hot glue on that. Again, make sure it's tight. You know what? I'm going to keep this a little bit extra. Depends what I want to do with it, so. Because I have no rhyme or reason why what I'm doing right now. Now you want to make sure this. Don't want to do it that way, I don't want to do it this way. I'm going to do it this way. So what you do is you take, I can still trim this a little bit more. It's easier to trim now than try to trim after you glue it on. Still fits. Okay, so now you want to move your mess, take some glue, hot glue, glue, any glue, whatever you want, but I'm going to use hot glue. Go around the edge. Don't put too much because you don't want it to go all over your um, image. And just place it without burning yourself. Push it down. You don't have to worry about that. You can cover it with some felt material, anything you want. 
I can stick that on there. Should have made it a little longer, but whatever. That's up to you, but I don't know what I'm doing with that yet, so I'm going to keep it. So now, you want to, you want to decorate it, you do that now. So I want to use some flowers, or you can even use like a dolly in the back. There you go. You know what? What if I put that just to give it more support? Yep, but I want to cut it down. Make sure you have good scissors. And look, there you go. I need to get some trim, um, glue sticks up. Sorry. I kind of want to bring it to my face. I don't know why. There you go. What do you think? I like that. I wasn't even planning on doing it. Oh, let's get my glue gun ready. Didn't need that right yet. There you go. I do like that. I mean, if you want it to be closer and make it more closer to it, you can put a little bit more glue down there. But I'm not going to do that. But I do like that. You can now do the flowers. Do I have any? Always check for your stuff before opening a new one. Let's do some of the blue. Some pink. You don't have to keep all these greens on it. Try you can try to hide them. Do what you like. I'll probably be Well that came off, so I'll probably be taking that one off. Yeah, there's a little flower there. Just sticking to my um glue. Okay, so Take a little bit here. Let's do white one or a blue one what if I snip this green off okay. what do you guys think so far You can do some more things around it. I have, here they are. I have some of these. Let's see if I can use these. Let's do this one. Sorry for the rattling.
see if I can stick that in there a little bit. Should have put that in there already. See if I can squeeze it in there. You should do think ahead of time, I guess. Because I totally did not think of this until just now. See if I can push it in with something. There we go. I don't know. It's whatever. Again, don't do leg ID. Do your thing. <laughs> I could put that in there. Let's try something. A sham. I'm trying to use every last little bit of that glue gun. The glue stick. Before being more. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Right there. So let's see if I can put that in there. Yeah, I can do that. There you go. What do you guys think so far? I like it. And you can stick it. You can actually stick it like this on your book. You know, stick it on the side, stick it here. You can now hang something off of it so you can hang it off your journal. So, that's an idea. I need more glue on the back to keep that on. I do have. Sorry, I should have this. But who, who who puts it on one finger and end up still using the other hand? Me. Okay, so we can do it just like that. We can add more to it if you like. I'm just going to try to get this totally from moving, easy, you know, flipping. Make sure it's completely on it. Now, let's see if you want to put some... You can do so, like um, uh, glitter glue you want to put inside, but I don't want to do that. So that is one of them. What do you guys think? Did I succeed in making one? That's one with uh, this. Okay. Let's do... I don't know, I like this blue one. I thought I'd have another one out. But I do, right here. But 
this time I'm just going to use this and just go circle it. And just cut cut that out. I'm not worrying about trying to be so perfect. Because now, with all the stuff we have, we can always hide the imperfect stuff we do. So, yes, it's a little small, but all you got to do is find the right trim to go around it. Trim box. This one is more of a pink box, <laughs> but I don't want to use pink on that one. Oh, wait a minute. Here's one. Can I use that? Or you can use a plain ugly one and then put this over it. So let me show you. Okay, you see something like this, right? I don't think this is going to be enough, so... What I'm going to try to do is do two of these. Okay. And start from the bottom. Guys, I'm trying. So, haven't done this one before. I don't even know if this is going to be cute, but we're going to try. Again, try to put a little bit of hot glue gun your glue gun or glue to hold it because the worst thing you want to do is to go all the way around and lose the piece of the piece of fabric and it unravels done that been there was it been there done that Just keep on going. Sorry. That's not really bad. I like the color. Looks like I had okay enough. Just a little bit off, but that's not bad. Let me just put that on there. Okay, so just because I have a little bit, let's just. Do it a little bit. Okay, so here. Oh, I forgot to close it. Go in there and fill it up. So that should be good for that. Now let's cut that off. And now, say for instance, you just wanted to fill that up, make a little difference. 
So now you could take a piece of trim and just go around it. You don't have to use this big one. This one you don't have to be so close. You see, you can just go around so you can see. So. And just keep going around. If you have other scraps that's not as long, just use them. Just make a different. All you all you need is just to cover it and to help support this. That's all you need. So if you have you don't have one big one and you have 10 small ones, use the 10 small ones. It's not going to hurt anything. You'll be different from the others. That's all. And there you go. That's done. Just go around a couple times around it. There you go. I'm going to cut this one this time. Okay, so that's that one. So, what do you guys think? Move this out of the way for a minute. Whoop, almost fell again. So now, we want to stick this one in. We want to take whatever side you don't like the most. Oh, whatever side's the prettiest, keep it the, for the face. Don't do like I did and stick it to the table. So all you gotta do is just let it cool down and it'll come right off. I do like that. Okay, so now that is this simple one. Now you know you don't have a background. So you can try to find, you can use like your dualies. You can use some other trim to make a background. You can use some fabric. All you're doing is trying to cover the back from that to help keep it supported, you know? That's all. You can just put it on something like that. But right now, yeah. Why is it that I don't have something? I don't want to do pink because I already have the pink. Let's see if I have something in this um, box. See if I have anything here. No, I don't. Okay. You know, because I'm using these as um, dangles on my what do you call them? On my books, my journals. You can put a nice little flower in the back. So you see that one. And that's not bad. So you see the beautiful in the front and you see the beautiful in the back. There you go. I liked it. I liked it.
There you go. So when it hangs, I'll have to put like a little loop there or a char um, a jet, uh, what do you call it? Um, what is it called? The rings, jump rings. Just put one there and it will hang. And that's it. We can do more flat. We can do some flowers on here. But I don't like those. Flowers. These are too small. We do some white ones. Well, this time, let's not forget this. You could do another one over here, these rays. Stems. Let's do another blue one. There's one right here. There you go. And that's it guys. That is a easy charm dangle for your junk journals or an embellishment to put on something. Ooh, I hate the strands. That drive me crazy. And again, all you got to do is to, let me see if I have something here. When you want it, you ain't going to find it. It's always that way, huh? Okay. All you got to do is take... You can even use the these keychains. So you want to take one of the rings and you can just stick it on here. I don't really want to do that. But we want to. First, you know what? Should have thought of this. Should have put a strand of something on there. But we're gonna figure it out. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I couldn't find my box of them that has different colors, but you see these little um bulb pins? You could just take it. And you could put them on here to make it attach to your um, journal. There you go. And you just start it by there. You can keep this on it. But I won't. So this one, you can use something like this. And you can just hook it on. Or if you have a a flat back, you can always, you see how I, this is pretty flat? You can always take a bigger hoop, glue it in the back, hot glue it in the back and tie your, I mean, put a little piece of ribbon on the back.
and you can hang it from your journal this way but I'm not going to do that because that right now I don't know what I'm doing with them so that's why I'm not attaching backs on them but you can use those you can use these anything like this and then there's these ones that you put on the back of them um, you put on the back of a uh, uh, pendants you can use those so guys if you like this project that I made from the shower curtain rings from the dollar store please give me a like thumbs up subscribe if you're not a subscriber Tell me what you guys think. Leave a comment in the in the description. Until my next video, guys. Bye.